So I'm bored and I'm quarantining right now. So I thought I'd make a video just for the heck of it on my pops because I am a beginner pop collector. I've only been collecting for about a year now. Uh, my daughter bought me a pop of Lucy Van Pelt and I absolutely love the peanuts. So I thought, what's a pop? So I looked it up. And then I also saw a documentary on them on Netflix. And uh, I was hooked. And now I have, it's not the biggest collection in the world it, by any means. But uh, I'm going to show you just kind of like what I have. A lot of randoms. Um, <laughs> I got by mistake, rookie mistake. It's a bootleg, obviously. Uh, that one is my Slimer guys hanging out. I started actually with some of the cereal as well, and then I decided, you know what, the cereal is just not, just it's not it for me. It didn't do it. So I still collected a bunch of randoms, as you can see. And then I finally decided I need to make a uh, decision on what it is I wanted to collect. And I mean, it's an obvious choice for Nightmare. I mean, it's Nightmare for Christ's sake. So nothing going wrong collecting Nightmare before Christmas stuff. Like I said, it's maybe a mere uh, a year. Maybe a little bit more than a year. I'm not 100% sure. But, um... That's my biggest collection right there. It's probably my, my nightmare collection. And then I have some Freddy Funkos that I just started. Um, we have family up in Washington. And they live near Everett. And so... I got some headquarters... Funko Freddy's. Um, I live in California, so I'm blessed to uh, be able to go to the Hollywood Funko store as well. Um, this is another collection I absolutely love. I have one where he's coming. He's, uh, which, yeah, I got the one with the hoverboard coming. It's on its way. So that's why there's a hole there. Um, I do need to get... I do need to get the Marty McFly in the hazmat suit. Uh, there was some more randoms. I got Godzilla just because I thought he looked really cool. Um, my other collection that I'm getting into are the ad icons. I found this little step thingy, this little three step thingy at a at a thrift store and so I bought it and that's I decided I wanted to take some pops out of the out of the box that's what I like about these these can come out of the box and then all their boxes are back here behind these ones because these are my other ad icons that's just a Mr. Pan he's obviously not one oops I have some more over here. I have all the 10 inches, I believe, I think, except for the Coca-Cola bear, which I think I'm going to go back to Funko Hollywood. It's like a three hour drive from where I am. Every time I go there, the problem is I spend about $600 on pops. He's my favorite. Tony the Tiger is like the best one, I think, in in my eyes anyway. I was going to collect Pokemon, then I was like, eh, no. But now they're coming out with a 18-inch. I'm thinking about, all right, well, maybe I'll just add that one to the collection. I got two autographed 
Gabriel Iglesias and uh, Elvira. My daughter works at Disneyland. I have some of those that you get with the park exclusive. Here is my 90th birthday Mickey Mouse set. I hope I have them all. I'm not sure if I do. Uh, my Beetlejuice. My Beetlejuice. I need to add. I need to get the two new ones. More of the add icon. And I, I'm just starting to collect the, the horror movie ones too. I really like them. Those are a lot of fun to collect. I had to get the Audrey too because here's my Audrey. My Audrey that I have. I love her, so I got to get the other one where she's in the pot. That's the one I think she's in the coffee can in my SNL. And of course, this is the one that started it all is Lucy Van Pelt. It started with that one and then I thought, oh, let me get some more peanuts ones. And I did. Um. Let me see what, oh yeah. And then I have these guys here. The, um, they're dusty. I should have cleaned them off. The 18 inch pops of Batman. And then I just have a, a little bit, just that. So that's pretty much it for my pops. Like I said, I'm a beginner and I'm learning and any advice you can give me, I would love it. I would like to try and get some protos, but I don't even know how to go about even, even getting the prototype, the prototype ones. Here's some from Disneyland as well. I have the boxes for all of them. Oh, and when you buy like if you buy three or more pops at the Funko Hollywood, they give you these boxes. I have like four of them. I put that one together up on top just to fill in the space until I, until I buy more stuff. All right. I just wanted to show you guys my collection. I absolutely love it. Every time I walk in this room, I smile because of all my stuff. So you guys have an awesome day. Peace out.